fire is a series of stars which represent the oldest archaeoastronomical calendar in existence. This calendar is oriented to the helical rising of Sirius 6500 BC, created by African people who traveled from West Africa into the Nile Valley. And it is Revolve's theory that it was these Africans who probably just started Nile Valley civilization. Because Kemet just kind of springs into existence full blown with writing, with science, with architecture, with engineering. And he's been able to prove that in the Western Desert, we find the beginnings of all of these things. So then, next month, September 21st through the 24th, in the land of Georgia, and having the Nile Valley II Conference, which will commemorate the first Nile Valley Conference, which was help, which was brought into existence by this man, A.C. Hilliard, Dr. Ivan Van Serve. When A.C. died four years ago, he held his funeral at uh, the King Chapel on the campus of Morehouse. And got some thinking on his name right now. Thinking on his name. Um, help me out. He's got the church right off 95th Street. Uh, right here, Jeremiah Wright. Jeremiah Wright. Wright. Jeremiah Wright did did the um, uh, eulogy. The eulogy for Dr. Hilliard. He was president of Morehouse College. And he saw the praise that was heaped upon A.C. Hilliard. Said that he would make a commitment to have another Nile Valley Conference at Morehouse. It took him four years to get the financing together, but from the 21st to the 24th of September, you will have the largest gathering of Nile Valley scholars in history. Mm. Media and more. The theme of the conference is from the Nile to the Niger to the Mississippi. <laughs> so you will have Nile Valley scholars from the Sudan, from Egypt. Nile Valley scholars from Mali, from Sangai, from, from Senegal, from, uh, from Ghana, from Nigeria, and then scholars from the U.S. who will make a connection to the migration of African people from the Nile to the Niger to Mississippi. <laughs> and the sub theme for the conference is the Bohemian Sioux, the repetition of the birth, the commemoration of the first conference, and it is dedicated to the memory of Dr. A.C. T. Hilliard III. So, let me just put things in, into perspective for you. 27 years ago, September of, two, of 1984, when the first Nile Valley Conference was held, organized by um, Dr. Hilliard, Charles French, Ivan Van Sertema, and other scholars, they introduced Sheikh Antidia to the African American community. They introduced this little known white scholar from Cornell University by the name of Martin Bernal, who read, who introduced his book, Black Athena, The Afro-Asiatic Roots of Greece. It was this gathering of African scholars which set in motion the African Center Group. It was this gathering of African scholars which gave birth to ASCAP, the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilization. So, there's an old saying within our community that what goes around, comes around. So this spiritual energy, this force, this power is about to come around again. And we have to be ready. This window of opportunity is only going to be open for a short period of time. So we need as many African people with their African minds on tight to prepare themselves to reclaim our knowledge before it's too late. Before it's too late. So you all need to come to the conference. We're going to document that African excellence and leadership are the norm, not the exception. This is what we've always done. We're thinkers. We're builders. We're doers. We demonstrated that when we developed civilization in now River Valley. We demonstrated that when our ancestors were enslaved and built Washington, D.C in many cities throughout the United States. We demonstrated that several years ago when we elected a new 
So we need to begin to understand some connection. We need to begin to understand what time it is and what it is that we must do because time is running out. We need to understand very clearly as I, as I close that we are the vessels to which our ancestors speak and do their best work. So we must prepare our minds and our bodies to receive their spirits so that they can talk to us, so that they can move through us, so that we can complete the work that they were born here on earth to do. So with that, I'm done. Thank you.